So you have downloaded and installed your favourite face pack for Football Manager 2024. But when you load the game up, you realise that your favourite player isn't part of that face pack. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add any player to that face pack. So for step number one, all you need to do is navigate your way to your favourite player who is missing his player profile picture. For this example, I have used Estevo. He's part of Palmeiras' under 20s and I'm using the DF11 face pack. He doesn't actually come as part of that face pack yet. I believe he will be in future updates, but as of this time of recording, his picture is missing from the face pack. Now we are on his profile page, we need to find out the ID of the player. There is one of three ways to do this. You can use either the pre-game or in-game editor to find out his unique ID. You can download a skin which will show the ID like I have here and you can go to the Sort It Outside website where you can look at the database and you will see all of the players there. For this video, I'm going to use the skin. So at the top of the screen, you will see there is a button here that says ID. Once you click on that, it will turn red and it will show you the unique ID of the player. Now, Estevao's unique ID is 20002639999. Just jot that down on a piece of paper or you can even click on it. You can highlight it control and C and you can copy that but I would recommend writing it down because you will need it later one of the other two methods that I mentioned I will put that above me on the screen now and as you can see from this search Estevão Willian is the bottom player on that search once you have that unique ID we'll move on to the next step For step number two, you are going to have to search for the player you are looking for. So go to any search engine and type the name of the player in the search bar. In this instance, I'm looking for Estevão Willian. So we have searched for him. Once your search comes up, simply go to the images tab and you'll be greeted by a lot of images. Now, luckily, Palmeiras' website has an image that pretty much fits in with the DF11 face pack. They like to have their player profiles on a white background and this picture roughly comes at the same size and the same dimensions as a DF11 photo. The only downside to this is if we right click and try and save the image as, this will try and download as a WebP file. Now Football Manager only likes JPEGs and PNGs so if you're experienced enough to know how to convert that WebP file to a JPEG, download the file and you need to save it as the player ID and you can just convert it and we'll pick up in step number three however if you need a png so you can just save it straight to the face pack type png on the end of the search go to images again now you'll be greeted by lots of pictures of william who currently plays for fulham but if you scroll down you will see a picture of estevo william and this is the picture that we need if we just right click that picture save image as it will come down as a png so we need now to use that player ID that we had from before so I copied it we can just save it as 2000026399 when we hit enter that will download once it's downloaded I'll show you what to do with it next For step number three, we are simply going to locate the picture we have just downloaded. For the majority of users, it will go straight into your downloads folder. If you have changed that directory or set up a custom location, go to that location and locate your picture. Also, I have now opened my face pack. You can see it's within the graphics folder in FM24 and it is labeled as the DF11 mini face pack July 2023. If you're using the same face pack, it will look like that. If you're using a different face pack, that title will be different, but the process is the same. The next thing you need to do is click on that picture we downloaded and simply drag it in to your face pack. Once you see it at the bottom, the next step is vitally important. I cannot stress this enough. We are about to edit that config file inside of that folder. So you need to back it up. Make sure that you take a copy of that config file and move it outside of that folder. If anything goes wrong, you're going to need that file to put back in the folder to undo anything we are about to do. So once that is out the way the next step is to edit the config folder we are now going to need to take that player id number 
and make sure you have got it written down because the next step is to right click, open with and notepad. Once it opens up, you will see a load of text and it may look confusing because there are a lot of numbers and it is written in code. The next thing we need to do is scroll down and you can pick any line here. I have tried this a few times. As you can see, I have already added a few lines to this XML file. But what you need to do is highlight an entire row and make sure you get it past those brackets. Click Control and C. Click the end of the row next to the brackets and press enter. And then into that gap, press Control and V. Now we are gonna need that player ID that we have just moved across. So if you've got it written down, you can simply just type it in. And what you want to do is where it says record from equals, inside those quotation marks, you need to type the number of the player. So my player is 20002632. Nine, nine, nine. Then we can just highlight that, control copy, and where it says graphics, pictures, person, and a number, we highlight that, and we press control V. That now will tell the game exactly what to look for inside of the graphics folder. We simply go to file, we go to save, and we can close that off. We are now finished. With the graphics folder, let's go back in game and show you what to do to get that player face into the game. Okay, so I've jumped back into Football Manager 2024. Now, obviously, if you already have a face pack set up, you will have the preferences set up in the correct way to get this face in the game. If you haven't, though, we can go through that quickly. If you go to the FM and then go to Preferences, where you go into the interface, when you scroll down into the skin section, you need to make sure it looks like this. So use caching to decrease page loading times, needs to be unticked. Reload skin when confirming changing in preferences is ticked. It's vitally important that that happens because that allows the game to update the face pack. So once you've done all of that, if you've done it for the first time, confirm at the bottom will be allowed to highlight and you can click that button. What we're going to do is hit the reload skin and that will take a couple of seconds for the game to read that folder, check the XML file to see that there is now a player face in this player ID. And hopefully when the game reloads and your skin drops in, you will now see that Estevo is in the game. You can do this for as many players as you like. You can simply find the pictures, find the player ID, and then put them into the XML file. But as I said, it is vitally important you back up that XML file all the time. So if you make a mistake, you can simply just write back over the top of it and it undoes any errors and you don't have to re-download the entire face pack. The other thing to remember is that once there is an update for the face pack, that XML file will be updated by whoever does your face pack update. So you will need to go back in and make sure you are typing those player IDs in once again for those faces to come up. If that face pack adds the player ID of the player that you're looking for, no need to worry. You can just simply move on and not have to redo those players. But that is how you find the player, find the picture, edit the config file, and get them into the game. Right then, if you found that helpful, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate all of the support on the channel. Hit the like button on the video too, just to interact with it and help to push it out to other people. Before you go, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. There are other videos, hints, tips, tutorials, wonder kids, a little bit of something for everybody on the channel. But for this one, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching. See you soon.